Thomas Alva Edison. His inventing career spanned some 70 years. He produced almost 1,100 patented inventions. It became a testament to our possibility. This is the 35th annual Thomas Alva Edison Patent Awards, presented by the Research and Development Council of New Jersey. My name is Alexia Shechmin, and I'm a researcher in Bell Labs, working on active antenna arrays. I'm Thomas Marzetta. I am the uh, group leader of large-scale antenna systems at Bell Labs. There are going to be very exciting new applications coming out, uh, who knows, five years from now or so. Uh, young people send uh, photographs back and forth to each other constantly by wireless handheld devices. Uh, they send videos also, but you can imagine, say, five years from now, they're going to want to send high-resolution, high-definition, three-dimensional videos. So what that's going to do is it's going to force the wireless infrastructure to carry maybe a thousand or more times as much data in the future as it does now. And quite simply, today's technology can't keep up with this. So we have uh, this uh, general solution, MIMO, it stands for multiple input, multiple output, that uh, we and many others believe will solve the problem. Our specific invention falls in the category of what we call massive MIMO. What distinguishes massive MIMO from today's systems are today's systems, you transmit a lot of power, but over very wide angles. It's just in, almost indiscriminate transmission of power. The idea of massive MIMO is that at your base station, you instead have a large number, it could be hundreds, eventually thousands, of very small electronically controlled antennas. They work together to send out concentrated beams of information to the users who want them and you don't waste power sending it in other directions. We got the first look today at what Apple says is the next big thing, the new must-have device that takes the iPod even further, we are told. CNBC. Well, when iPhones and iPads came out, there was uh, such a huge, de unprecedented or unexpected demand for them that some of the service providers were just being overwhelmed. They couldn't, uh, their wireless infrastructure couldn't support all of this this proliferation of these very attractive, exciting, sophisticated devices. So you're just going to continually see that. There's, uh, there are probably many more people working on applications than are working on uh, communication theory and uh, communications infrastructure. And, uh, but the two need each other because uh, if you have a severe bottleneck in transmitting the high, higher amounts of data, then these applications simply won't work. Well, we hope that uh, eventually it will be accepted as a standard and uh, Alcatel Lucent will start building base stations using this idea and uh, Alcatel Lucent will be selling those base stations. Maybe Tom can yeah, That's more or less the business idea. It's uh, Alcatel Lucent is uh, still to a great extent an equipment, telecommunications equipment manufacturer and of course they support also the, the usage of that equipment. Um, and this particular invention that we're receiving this award for is one of many th uh, that fall in the area of massive MIMO. I, actually, I think the first nonfiction book I ever read, probably when I was eight years old, was a biography of Thomas Edison written for children. I immediately wanted to become an inventor. And, my, my father was an instrumentation engineer at National Bureau of Standards in Washington, and so I remember when I was about 12, 13 years old visiting him in his lab and seeing all of this marvelous equipment and thinking, it must be the finest job on earth to be able to work all day long with equipment like this and get paid for that as well. 